Midwifery is a time-honored profession that holds a unique place in the healthcare system in the United States today. It is accepted and integrated into mainstream healthcare, but is also an important part of alternative healthcare. Midwives recognize and respect women's ability to have a healthy pregnancy and childbirth. In this way, we are guardians of nature's processes. Yet we are also vigilant screeners for complications, and we know when medical care becomes necessary. My name is Ronnie Lichtman, and I am the chair of the midwifery program at SUNY Downstate Medical Center. I'd like to welcome you to the profession of midwifery and to the midwifery program here at SUNY Downstate. We believe women are in control of their own bodies, their own births, and their own health care, incorporating their family members as they choose to define them. Midwives bring this same woman-centered approach to care for women throughout the life cycle and for all reproductive health needs, including annual gynecologic checkups and all methods of family planning. We work within a health team that includes physicians, social workers, psychologists, nutritionists, nurses, and other healthcare providers, and are always careful to consult, collaborate, and refer whenever a health issue requires interventions of other team members. The Midwifery Education Program at SUNY Downstate, housed in the College of Health-Related Professions, traces its roots back to the first formal midwifery education program in the United States. The program has always been innovative and was the first in the country to integrate midwifery education for persons with a nursing background and those from a variety of other backgrounds. I went to nursing school and in nursing school my professor, um, Abby Howe Heyman, she, um, she went to Downstate and she, she recommended that I look into midwifery and I never thought about it. Um, so I looked into it and I realized, you know what, that this is something that I would definitely be interested in. I worked for um, a couple different nonprofits. The last one was working with asylum seekers, working in the human rights field. And I have a background in uh, women's studies and Spanish. Um, and it was through women's studies that I uh, discovered midwifery. And from there, I decided to. Um, work towards like the natural progression to midwifery. I have a bachelor's of art in sociology and then I started working um, with pregnant women doing nutritional counseling and I just really found my passion. I have a BA in psychology and women's studies. I had been a nurse for eons and I went through the should I, should I not, should I, should I not for 11 years before I actually went to midwifery school. I have a BA in art history. I've been working in the arts I worked at a museum, I've worked at an auction house. And I worked for years in theater as a director and a designer. For the last five years, or six years actually, I've been working with uh, pregnant women um, as a yoga teacher and as a doula. I was a physician assistant, not a nurse, and um, I was so excited to hear that, you know, SUNY Downstate was offering certification as a midwife for non-nurses. So. I applied, interviewed, and thankfully got in. Graduates who are nurses can become certified nurse midwives, and those from other backgrounds can become certified midwives. In New York State, these types of midwives are licensed and practice identically. They both have a graduate degree, complete an educational program, such as the one here at Downstate, that is rigorous, intense, and demanding and they take the same national certification examination. The State Midwifery Education Program prides itself on having a committed faculty that is always available to guide students through their exciting and fulfilling journey of becoming a midwife. So your history is very good. Mm -hmm. I just didn't see you mention anything about what family planning methods Mrs. K might want to use. She is 22 and she said she doesn't have any plans to be pregnant in the foreseeable future. Okay, so maybe you can go back into her and talk more about birth control methods and see if there's any method she'd like to use. Okay, I can do that. Okay, and then when you're done, come back to me and we'll talk more about what components, if any, of the pelvic and the physical exam you'll do and what lab work you might want to do. Okay. 
the Midwifery Education Program at SUNY Downstate Medical Center. It is known for its strong clinical education, its high standards, and its diversity. Here you will find a microcosm of American society with students from various professional, cultural, ethnic, racial, and national backgrounds learning and working together. So if you start, you start out with Here's your baby! We look forward to your applications and inquiries about midwifery, women's health, and health care, and how to become a midwife. Thank you.